remind everybody that enjoy each other, take care of each other, um, because you never know, life is, life is short. And there are a few of classmates who are no longer with us. And, you know, we lost a few right after our 20th. And, you know, there could be people in this room this is the last time you're ever going to see them. So make it count. Um, but I guess we'll just have a quick moment of silence for Lori Johnson, Christy Dakin, David Selhaver, Antonio Love, Wade Wheat, Steve Wood, John Spirit, Big John. Big John. Bird dog. Bird dog. Bird dog. John Young and Ricky Smith. So. And Lonnie Nichols. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess quick moment of silence for those for those that we've lost. All right, take care of each other. And here's Jay. Huh? This. All right, this is going well. Uh, one more time for Tommy, everybody. All right, we're going to do that intermittently for the next five to seven minutes. This is going to be great. Uh, I would job. really like to thank Tommy to start off right off the bat. I'm just going to go out here and buy Jeremy. It's going to be good. I'd like to thank Tommy for giving me, uh, for what is a semi-professional uh, comedian's dream, uh, the worst possible gig ever. <laughs> I've done a lot of shows for a lot of people. Usually they're strangers and there's a little bit of mystery. Uh, I know most of you. If you don't like me, literally my legacy is fucked. Remember when he was funny in high school? No, or middle school? Middle school? Grade school. Who out here knew me in grade school? Woo! I'm so much worse than when you know me then. You look good. Well, oh, there it is. I can't argue. Woo! All right. <laughs> Let me just gauge the like pulse of this crowd. Are we a Boone's Farm, Mad Dog, or 64 ounce of Old English crowd? Where you at? Oh, hey. oh, hey. I have an old English crowd. The Fuck, this is gonna go good. <laughs> Dude, uh, gonna be honest, completely honest here, I haven't lived in Fort Dodge for a long time. This is my first time back in a long time. I live in Missouri now. Uh, are you guys familiar with Missouri? Uh, it's where all the meth comes from. So, on behalf of my adopted state and all the people there uh, with the meth, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> welcome for all that meth. I wrote notes. Literally, Tommy told me 20 minutes after I showed up, right after he told me there was Taco Tico, he told me, you're doing a set. Thank you, Tommy. Jay. Oh, you're right. I wrote down a brief list of things that really, when I look back on Fort Dodge, kind of make me laugh, kind of make me smile a little bit. And I want to read these things uh, off to you. Uh, the stag. Oh, yeah. 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 Anyone else remember times going to the stag where you looked over and there were like seven cop cars parked outside of there? And you had to order like, why are none of us arrested ever here? The best moment, and this is a true moment, I wasn't gonna talk about this. I brought a friend of mine from Iowa State after going there back to the stag, and we showed up there and the stag didn't open that night. And we realized that Bob from the stag passed out on his way to open the door. <laughs> And I wanted to say I'm sorry, but I was like, no, that's the most Fort Dodge thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> you guys remember when they, were, they had that fire, but the pool table and the jukebox were moved out the night before? <laughs> that's like some weird Soprano shit. They go like, ah, oh, it doesn't happen in real life. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I was not going to bring up old wounds with Sports Page. Yeah, that's a great place to go. Uh, <laughs> What else? Two sisters. Anyone else ever been there? I bought 
liquor as a 13 year old. How do you do that? I couldn't even drive there. I walked up with a backpack and they're like, what do you want? I don't know. Whatever the adults like. That's what I want. Uh, what else did I laugh about thinking back about Fort Dodge? Duffer! <laughs> I'm kidding, I love him. But I was trying to think of things to say and I was like, flannel, sunglasses, his mom owns a taxi, uh, gay marriage is legal in Iowa, why didn't I marry Duffer? That's all I'm saying! God, my life would be amazing. <laughs> I don't know, we'll have a conversation. Uh, the Banwell Farm, does that oh, ring yeah. a bell? That fake bullshit haunted house that we all convince ourselves to believe was real? It is scary. I won't talk about it. I'm sorry. Remember we all drove out there and there was like that rumor that if you like turned off your lights and you would turn them back on, all of a sudden there would be a ghost shining in the face of your car? Did that happen to anybody? Did we all experience the worst episode of Ghost Hunters ever, collectively? Uh, Dean! What the fuck was Dean, everybody? This is a, this is a moment of pride for all of us. We, as juniors, co-opted the Seniors Yearbook with a made-up phrase that Tommy had. They're pissed. What the, version of word. Remember like word could mean anything or forget about it? That's what we did. Tommy made something up and pissed off every senior. All of them moved out of Fort Dodge. They were that pissed off. Uh, anyone else ever try to uh, drive Senior Snell to lunacy? <laughs> Was I the only class? Luke, what's lunacy? Remember Senior Snell? Yeah. Remember that one day that he went on a rant talking about the Rodney King riots and how he would have gotten a rifle and climbed to the top of a tall building? No. I wish I made that up. I was trying to learn Spanish. He was like, I would kill them all. Okay, Snell. I'm shooting that classroom. Anyone else both kind of excited and got a little bit sick about the Ryan and Kai stories from Ms. Takasuka? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. For you people who didn't go to high school with us, this is the most inside joke nonsense you've ever heard. Yeah. Supposed to be a laugh at the end of it. All right, good. <laughs> Speak Spanish either. Uh, <laughs> so what moped gang did you all belong to? Yeah, we have riders. Riders. And the riders. second question, uh, how long was the flag on your moped? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go too inside baseball, but Jeremy Martinson's flag was so goddamn long. <laughs> there were several multicolored uh, clothespins on your flag. You were like gay pride before that was a thing. Was anyone else upset? I drove by Duncan School earlier. Did that like piss anybody off? How many people were from Duncan here? Perfect for one point, like for most of my history, every single Christmas when we watched a Christmas show, we're like, that's our fucking high school, dude. <laughs> 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 I, I, I said that. Dude, I gotta be honest, the most exciting thing that happened to me since I got here, uh, I walked up and I talked to Tommy, he was sitting over here, it was great to see him after so many years. And he looked at me and he was like, you know we have Taco Tico over here? He was like, fuck you, I'm going over here. <laughs> I was the most heartbroken I've ever been in my adult life. I pulled into Fort Dodge after literally 23 years, and I realized the street in front of Taco Tico was blocked off. I was like, I can't, I can't go there. My life has no meaning at this point. It, did you say it takes a white guy to come here? That was a weird comment. I, I mean, it's true, but I... 
How's everybody doing? How you guys been? I, I wanted to like go around and roast you individually, but it would be redundant. We all know all our ridiculous stories. And Jeremy and I, uh, years ago, we wrote a book report about the Foxman. Did anybody read that book? Neither did we. Uh, we made a rap about a book for Mrs. Peterson's seventh grade class. That is the whitest thing any two people have ever done. Do it. Do you remember it? No. Okay. Mutiny on the Bounty is what we're all about. It was great. Steve? I read the best thing about Steve. He had a buckle on his high school basketball shorts. Am I right on this? He was like more, He was more Larry Bird than Larry Bird at the time. He was so, John Mosley, one of my best friends for a long time. This, this is gonna get a little bit weird, but this might be the funniest thing I remember from Fort Dodge. Uh, in our moped gang, uh, John showed up. Uh, John had a black moped and a black football jersey. And he showed up at night on his moped. <laughs> and my father, my father looked at John and he's like, John, um, is this all right? <laughs> and as God is my witness, John looked at my father and was like, I'll just smile real big for him. You got we no, did no, have no, an no. epic moped gang though. If an epic moped gang could be like defined by one guy with a good moped and me 25 yards behind at all times. Twiggy, so hold on to yeah. your shoulder. Yeah. Anybody want a pooch? Remember the you had this pedal to start? Oh, yeah. This is really going inside baseball. What else did I have to talk about? I don't know, I might have exhausted it. Guys, this is really magical to come back and see people after so long. This is the most fun, I was really sad that I had to miss the last event, and some people thought that was bullshit. I'm gonna tell you why it's not bullshit. Um, I got in a car accident. If by in a car accident you mean uh, I did a comedy show and I had a bunch of shots and I hit someone's car. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oopsie daisy. It was around the same time I went on a really uh, elaborate health program. Uh, I lost a bunch of weight, and it was a joint exercise program developed by me and the State of Missouri Department of uh, Corrections. Uh, where <laughs> they called it a suspension. I called it a driving sabbatical. I sort of just took time off to think about driving, philosophically. Uh, I had to go to court, which you do when uh, you hit somebody's car at random. Uh, so he said, not necessarily. And it was Duffer. How fucking cool is that? Jeff I went to court, and uh, I was in court, and there was a guy in front of me who went to court because he threw his pregnant girlfriend down a flight of stairs because, quote, a uh, bitch was asking for it. That is not a valid legal defense as far as I know. Oh, no. In spirit. Uh, you have Johnny Cochran. And I. <laughs> Juice is loose. I mean, come on, let's be up. I had to get up in court uh, after this guy went, and uh, they were like, uh, so you were um, drinking and uh, texting and driving. And I was like, that's, that's, that's totally true, Your Honor. And that guy literally, at the time, the guy, uh, bitch was asking for it, looked at me and was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the whole story. Uh, I was not arrested for drinking and texting and driving. I was arrested for drinking and sexting and driving. Uh, uh. <laughs> I sext for the same reason that all of you do it, because it's... Uh, it's kind of naughty and it's a little bit fun. Uh, it stops being fun when your sex messages are read aloud in front of a jury of your own peers. Uh, when the minute, the minute the judge is like, bailiff, bring me his phone, I'm like, no, 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 I'm pleading guilty to whatever you got. 
I'm going to be honest, I can do it all night long. It's harmless bullshit, but in a courtroom, it's probably perjury. I'm going to be... You're driving the stick, you're driving the stick shift, huh? <laughs> guys, this has been a shitload of fun. Thank you guys so much for coming tonight. Uh, I say in true Fort Dodge fashion, why don't we get shit-faced and hang out for a little bit? Uh, Thanks for having me. Glad to see you all. Thank you, Jay. Tommy's not coming.